the Enlightened Entrepreneur's Guide to Writing a Book That Changes the World. Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. And in this really short audio update for our Serve and Scale podcast, I'm going to share with you what I believe is the absolute quintessential strategy for inspirational authors, transformational teachers, anyone who has a coaching uh, or service-oriented business and wants to write a book that changes the world. So essentially, the old way or the way that I see most often in our uh, community, our clients, the folks who are inquiring about our uh, sort of approach to writing books is to write what I call a me-me memoir, one of these really sort of self-interested almost like diary or journal sorts of books that documents your own experience, expertise, evolving kind of uh, experience within your niche or your community, your life, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't actually uh, lead to a rock star result for your readers. So essentially, we have a whole publishing system for inspirational authors that at its core relies on something we call a bridge book. And a bridge book is a book that introduces an idea that inspires or invites an experience. The best bridge books actually both invite and and inspire an experience. There is a distinction there that does have a difference. And we're going to cover that in some additional uh, podcast uh, lessons. But again, you want to introduce an idea that invites or inspires, or preferably both, invites and inspires an experience. And the essence of this approach is that you may reach or teach your ideal audience with words, but you actually transform them through experience and and the experiences they have with your products, your programs, your community, your coaching, access to your expertise in a more intimate way. That's really how you transform the world or you transform the people within the world, within the universe that you are most uh, expert or able to transform. The experience is what you as the author, or I also like to think, you know, as the entrepreneur, right? So not just an author, but it actually positions you as an entrepreneur, this approach does. And essentially, the experience is what you as the author slash entrepreneur invite your reader to do at the end of the book that offers this particular audience a rock star result. And they, again, get this experience not by dint of having read the book. The book is only meant to serve as the bridge between your words and your real work in the world. But they actually get the rock star result by virtue of immersing themselves in the experience element. I can't say that word properly. The experiential element or part of your practice. And of course, this can be a local or virtual event, a coaching call, a class or a course, a community, a product or a program. It could be a private platform of some kind. Anything that actually helps them, and when I say them, this is your quintessential client or your ideal audience, anything that helps them heal a hurt, pop a pain, or leads them to make a major positive change or or overcome, let's say, a problem that has led them to lead a smaller story or less fulfilling life than they truly crave or deserve. And again, the best bridge books have what we call a transformation turnstile, which again, these are terms of art that we use within the Mindful Marketplace publishing platform. But a transformation turnstile is your clients are going to walk out or walk out of the experience different from how they walked in, which is where the turnstile sort of metaphor comes in. And they also, the, the, the best bridge books also have a transformation trigger, which is an aha moment or a unique insight or epiphany, something unique to your 
um, solution that leads people to consider solving their problem from a new perspective or paradigm, which of course in this case, it is your perspective or your paradigm. And there are a you know myriad of examples of this in the world. You can think of it even as you know the keto diet, let's say, was a completely different paradigm or perspective relative to, you know, the more conventional approaches to eating a few years ago. And again, I don't really know much about keto. I'm just trying to throw out some quick examples or um, something like uh, TM, the transcendental meditation uh, technique, is a completely paradigm changing perspective on meditation relative to more mainstream uh, practices like mindfulness, which are much more popular. In other words, having a very simple mantra rather than paying attention to one's breath or sensations, etc., etc. And again, I don't want to get too deep in the weeds, but lots of people in our community are interested in mindfulness and meditation and personal and spiritual growth. So these sorts of distinctions land in a, have some explanatory power, uh, you know, to explain the transformation trigger and a unique insight or perspective or epiphany that has people thinking about approaching an experience differently or solving a problem differently using a new set of tools. Um, And that's pretty much it. So we're going to cover much more about this or much more with respect to these ideas uh, in our Serve and Scale podcast. And if you're somebody who wants to write a book, teach a course, or build a brand that inspires, empowers, and uplifts other people, I think this is truly the best place to begin. We have this idea codified for courses as well, for coaching offers, for books, it, it really extends well beyond just, uh, you know, writing books, this idea of inviting or inspiring an experience and using these short courses, short, uh, you know, ebooks, Amazon books, uh, audio books, whatever it may be to really cultivate a community of true fans and people who really get real results, rock star results or rock star transformations from the actual offers that you put out into the world. And again, you know, we're going to cover much more uh, with respect to these uh, practices and protocols and the best way for folks like yourself, if you're starting out in this space, to implement these ideas in the service of waking up the world with your work. Okay, so if you have any questions, as always, send an email, hi at mindfulmarketplace.com. I'm always happy to help if I can. You can reach out to me directly on Twitter at Ian Hollander, twitter.com, Ian Hollander. Uh, Or if you're obviously listening to this within our course community, just leave a comment in the module that you're hearing this and I'll be happy to interact with you there as well or in whatever way is most comfortable for you. All right. Teach what you know. Do what you love. Wake up the world with your work. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in the next episode.